as you can see we are in the process of building this building this trailer out this one is 38 inches long by 12 foot 12 inches wide so in one to one this is a 38 foot trailer so it's a pretty good sized trailer and it's going to be a bumper pull and we are doing a tandem axle as you guys can see the setup right here i'm going to go ahead and break this thing down and uh show you guys step by step on this tandem axle and if you guys want to know any of the parts that i use uh the axles leaf springs it's going to be down in the description uh the link's going to be down there all these parts were purchased off of amazon so let's go ahead and get up into this video and let's show you guys everything first things first you are going to need a five sixty force allen straight slot screwdriver and a sharpie to mark with i cut my channels out to one foot these are 12 inches across from tip to tip you see it left me just just a little bit on each side which i'm okay with that uh if i was doing a triple axle i would actually extend this further i'd add you know roughly six seven inches to one side or the other and i would actually take since we have this run here i would put another one of these here and then on this back side i'd put this here so i'd have my attachment spring then here's a spring to, to this cap here to here and then i'd run my spring to this cap that's going to be back here that's how i would do it and be able to run a triple axle you got decent uh clearance depending on how you're doing this um it doesn't matter what tires you use I uh, ended up purchased the tires that I actually have on here now that these were an accident I purchased this for a trail truck and they're way too small but these are 1.9 rims so that helps in any which way shape or form uh, I just figured that going with the Terminator theme this is a perfect perfect style it's all blacked out I like them the springs seem to do real good these are heavy duty supposed to be heavy duty springs uh figuring i'm gonna be running a 10 pound truck on this trailer plus a probably another two three pounds so i'm running close to 15 pounds and then plus the weight of the trailer itself so i think these are a good fit uh, definitely heavier than what is going to what an rc car is for these leaf springs but we've got them doubled up now what i did to get everything in line and work seamlessly as you see everything just drops right back in place is kind of see i marked some holes up top here so you guys can see so i can have be able to explain a little bit better for you take these caps i lay it down as you see I'm nice and even right here so it's kind of like a frame that's on a vehicle I'd push it right up against I gone ahead and marked drilled these holes out to the size of the bolts or whatever you guys may be using uh, this hole here I had to make a little bit bigger don't have long enough screws as you guys can see how I set that up so this is rock solid and tight All right every everything's in order right and tight and i drop it in uh, how i made sure my distance was correct i assembled my whole leaf spring all these i assembled all my leaf springs to the axles uh these axles are actually a 110 scale tamaya uh semi truck axles they're unpowered so they're free spin bearing sets so it's it's an awesome feat for that uh, they're 
182 millimeter. It's the longest they make in width. Uh, so I put a half inch wheel spacers on each side. So now it's eight inches. And then plus I've got my width of my wheel. So I've gained, I'm probably nine inches of width on a 12 inch trailer. So I'm roughly about an inch each side tucked under the trailer, which I'm cool with that because then again, we're looking at the rustic look. Now, the easiest way to do this is set the axles up, set your leaf springs up. You don't have to attach them to the axles, at least not yet. Take, lay it down so you kind of have an idea where everything's going to lay. Take, take your Sharpie. As you can see what I did here, right here, I kind of just marked at the ending so I know where it's going to be right here and right here okay I know my caps in caps need to be in that area and you see I did the same thing here marked marked so I know roughly about where these everything needs to be I got ahead and got them re-removed from the springs laid just one of the caps down preferably the one with the bend on it makes it easier so you know you're laid in flat and have it exactly where you want it. Lay that down, Sharpie mark it, both sides. Drill them, drill them all the way through so you can have your nuts on the back side. So it gives an extra strength. Uh, bolt it back up uh, per how the bracket's supposed to be done. And then what I did was I reattached this to my leaf springs here on this perch I have it laid in where it's supposed to be and just drilled straight through um, it seemed to work out the best for me we're going to lay these all in and if you have everything correct everything should just fall right back into place as you guys see and then of course all your nuts your bolts and nuts for the spring perches there is no bushings, no nothing else like that on these. Uh, they seem to do pretty good, as long as you don't over tighten them. Just like anything else, you tighten them too tight, the spring doesn't do what it's supposed to do. So I just pretty much finger, finger them in. Seems to be just tight enough for me. patience on this part especially when you got the wheels in the way wheels always make it more challenging but that's okay seem to have a good rapport on Facebook with this build uh, everybody seems to be pretty excited and they're like they want to know step by step of what I did I didn't want to sit here and bore you guys with building a trailer because you guys seem to just not care. Everybody knows how to build trailers. But everybody was real curious of how I was going to do this tandem axle 38, 38 inch tandem axle trailer. And of course, again, this is my take on it. Somebody else may have better ideas, different ideas, something that may work better for them. Uh, they could do a gooseneck trailer like this. I don't see why it would change anything except for the way you attach it to your truck. You know, you'd have to, instead of putting a straight tongue on it, you'd have to put a gooseneck on it. You know, for your C450s, which those things are cool. If I had one of those, I'd probably be doing a tandem. I'd probably be doing one of the uh, one of those goosenecks, but I don't. You guys know what I'm pulling this trailer with, so I wanted to do a bumper pull tandem. All right, guys, that's the whole axle assembly reassembled. 
Uh, it's real simple. As you see now, I do have suspension. All right. Everything works as it should. A little tight, but that's normal. You're going to have that. You're going to have that on these heavy duty springs. Now, the one part I wanted to show all you guys is on this trailer, since we're doing a tandem axle, we want to get to CG pretty close. You know, I don't want too much tongue weight. I don't want too much tail weight. And uh, I'm going to show you guys how I do it. It may not be the correct way to do it, but this is my way. And if it works for you guys, if it helps you guys, great. Uh, I'm really hoping it does so let's go ahead and cut right into that and let me show you guys how I do that all right how I set my CG up on my trailer okay I'm attaching the axle assembly with some little strips of actual steel this is pretty much the only steel besides the spring steel that's on the axles it's going to be on this trailer I get this about where it needs to be you know just about even off of here you know you don't have to be exactly perfect yet and then we're going to get the decking okay like if it's too far back it's going to just see how it just got too much tail weight it just wants or the nose weight it just wants to rotate it we don't want that and then we got see, that just looks plain stupid like that in the center no where do we find that where do we find trailers that has got axles dead in the center of the trailer with all this back weight and all this front Okay, we want my guesstimation it's gonna be right about there. Uh, it's a little bit of tongue weight still. Tongue heavy. Still a little bit of tongue heavy, see how it wants to rotate? I don't mind a little bit. Maybe Yeah, that's pretty close as you see back tires just barely coming off the ground I don't know if I want it like that because it just quite doesn't look right but that's kind of how I do it I just kind of play with it if you guys want a little bit of tongue weight up on the, on the front you guys are more than welcome to do it that way I think I'm actually going to rotate this thing back just a little bit for look purposes I kind of like the looks of that you know just a little bit back here I'm probably eight inches nine inches back here that's open so definitely I think I think that'll be okay that kind of looks more scale looking so we're gonna go ahead and get this thing marked in and we're gonna go ahead and start getting some screws drilled some holes drilled so we can get this axle attached we got the trailer flipped over as you guys can see uh, we're going ahead and marked here and here where we want those plates to be laid in uh, we want to make sure these axles are straight because if the axles aren't straight this thing's not going to track right so what I want to do first off I want to make sure my metal plate is even Okay, remember I said seven, about eight inches? I'm about eight and a half inches, so that's not bad. I can live with that. Okay, back to the plate, seven and a half. See, this one's not quite even. Seven and a half. Seven and a half. I'm even on that back runner. So what I wanna do is I want to go ahead and get this marked so when this thing is separated I know where to place that at so that makes me happy the back's gonna track that part's gonna track straight 
Now, I want to measure, make sure this axle's in the center line of the trailer. As you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, I am. four and three quarter from the frame rail that's almost dead center tap it over just a hair Okay. Okay. That I'm gonna run with. Same thing what I'm gonna do is I'm going to mark the outside lines for this trailer. So when I start attaching, I have lines to just line up to. Makes my life easier. Now we need to make sure the front's the same way. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to that. I'm gonna do that off camera and I'll be right back with. Now we have everything marked, measured, measure, measure, measure. That's all I got to keep pushing about. Measure five, six, seven, eight times. It doesn't matter until you feel comfortable with what you have. Uh, we are dead center of these plates, front and rear. Measure this way, measure this way, get the exact number both sides. Same thing in the front. Uh, got these centered first, these cross braces that the axles are going to actually get riveted to. So we know this is centered, the axle centered, everything is centered and straight. This trailer should track perfectly straight. You see, we got lines all over the place. Just don't forget where you're at and what you have to do. Uh, it's pretty simple. Your lines, you're just going to put this right back to line up with your lines. And the way I cut these, these are nice and dead center. So they're right up against the edge. So all I do is Make it right up against the edge and boom. It's back straight again. That's simple. All right. Uh, what I'm using is aluminum pop rivets. Uh, you can do whatever you'd like to do. Uh, found aluminum pop rivets hold out real well. So I'm going to drill, 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 drill. So these can be attached. Uh, my suggestion would be to attach these plates to your axle carriers first, because if not, how are you gonna get this rivet to attach on here? You're not. So, we're gonna go ahead and get everything drilled out and get ready to start pop ribbon. So, give me a few minutes, guys. I'll be right back with you. As promised. There's a Terminator truck. Attached to the trailer, and it's a two truck trailer. There they are. Axles fully installed, locked in. Good clearance on the fenders. Not too bad of an uplift. Trailer's gonna go black. I just gotta finish the tongue out. But That'll be at a later date. I just wanted to share this experience with you guys. Everybody seems to be pretty excited about this one. So, here we are. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you guys haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. See more crazy stuff like this. Alright guys, we're going to catch you on the next episode. Have a good one.